Hey everyone, this is the next video in our series about Spring Boot caching. In the last two videos, I have explained you about the Spring caching theory and Spring Boot annotations that it, you can use in the project. This video is about the Spring Boot project setup. We will see uh, how we can set up it and what dependencies do we need it, right? In subsequently, we will uh, use this in demo. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So library application is the sample application that I will uh, create. So this will be the rest application and this application will interact with the database. In the database, we have books stored. We have books stored in the database and we will create in our application endpoints to add the books, to get the books, to update the books and as well as to delete the books right so for all these application we will add the application we will get the application and while getting the application we will enable caching here at first hit it will get the application it will get the book from the database and in subsequent on the subsequent hit it will get it will give me the books from the cache that we have created we will update the cache also in the update method and we will delete the cache in the delete method while deleting the book from the repository as well right so in the previous video i have explained you the annotation cacheable enable caching cache evict we will see the application of all those in the in this video and subsequent videos right so let's go ahead and get started with the project creation so as usual start sp start .spring .io is the place where we where we where we create the projects we, are, we want to create the gradle project version this and name it green learner and what demo name i want i want library application right so this and move to options we need library application spring boot cache this is optional you can do it right or not library application jar we want java version we want this and this is important what dependency do we need first of all we want our application as rest based so this is the primary dependency that we need next we want caching to enable so this cache we need so you just have to type the cache and it will list out all the things so we get two dependencies we are interested in spring cache abstraction right so let's select this so this is it we are done so you go ahead and generate the project extract it and open it intellij idea so i have extracted the application here in library application so this is the project that you will get when extract the application so open this in intellij idea so if you are using intellij idea and gradle so you can open this intel build.gradle directly in intellij idea right so it will set up all the project that you have so this is this is the shortcut way that you can use so okay the application is open in intellij idea so it is downloading the dependencies for us okay so just open it and navigate to build.gradle and see what is the information there so this is the plugin information and this is the version and all those information this is the repository and this is the dependency section where you can see what is the dependency for the caching spring boot starter cache and other dependency the starter web and this is the starter test that is for unit testing right so it is added by all this so it is setting up the project and downloading the dependencies for us so it is has downloaded all the dependencies right all good so in this project just i wanted to set up it okay let it download let's go to background and this is the build out gradle i just explained to you this is the project structure that you have this is the library application that you have spring boot application it has and under the resources this has application dot property set uh, first of all, I do not want to use the properties. I want to use the YAML. So, want to know the YAML? I'll give the description. I'll give the link in the description box. So, YAML is better way to use than the properties, right? So, server. I have to use port 8001. So, this application will start on port 808. 8001 right so next thing i want to show you the dependencies section here so this is the main important part to get the to get more information about the spring boot starter caches you have to 
inspect the auto configuration that it comes with so this is the auto configuration and this is the jar and this is the place and when you open the spring dot factories and look for the here you will get all the auto configuration classes right here right so if i search for cache here if i search cache here so i'll get that information here right so cache cache auto configuration then i have to look for this class control n so it will give me the class that is there so if you come here and see this is all the information that is here you will get the information about cache manager cache configure importer selector cache manager customizer and this all of this i am going to use in the next videos right so this is just for information that from where it is picking all those information spring factories and this here and inside here if you go to auto configure part here you will see uh, a lot of folder here and here come down and here you will get the cache all the cache file coming is uh, residing here right so cache auto configuration file is right here cache condition is here that we used right cache type at different cache providers caffeine cache configuration is going to get here from here couch base eh cache generic cache configuration hazel cache, cache configuration j cache simple cache configuration and redis cache also so all of these are abstraction eh cache couch base caffeine these are the third party cache providers and these files these class files are there uh, for the abstraction and if you want if you have if you want to use the eh cache you have to add the dependency for that right you want to use the couch base you have to add that spring for the experiment purpose it provides you the simple cache configuration uh, that you do not have to use anything but uh, it, it provides you for the experiment purpose only concurrent map cache manager right so that we can use on the uh, if you do not want to use the any third party you can use this concurrent map cache manager for the experiment purpose and for the development purposes right so but if you want to use the hazel cache generic eh cache anything else you have to add the uh, library for that on the build dot gradle here uh, you have to look for the dependency for that and add that and add when that dependency is downloaded in your application going forward you can use that right so spring boot it is important to understand the spring boot is just an abstraction over other third party cache providers so all the implementation all those stuffs eviction policies and all these things is provided by that library only so spring boot is providing you the interface to use that so coming to build dot gradle that we have so spring boot starter cache also downloads other dependencies along with all this so to get that information how many it has downloaded so copy this and go to github page this is the spring boot starter project uh, where all the information the as many starter that are there that are provided by spring boot you can get all the information from here right so if i want to get the information about cache only spring boot starter cache is here if i open it i'll get the build dot gradle right here right so this spring boot dependency starter and so spring context support is the main dependency that a starter cache downloads for us if i want to see that in our external dependencies i can see right here uh, spring this is spring boot spring context support is here so if you open this it will give you all the information about that so if here here is the cache and here you get the folder about caffeine es cache j cache and transaction and mail also right so e, caffeine ke, es cache and j cache we can use this by the links right so uh, as i told you to use the specific uh, library es cache j cache you have to add that dependency specifically here on build dot gradle right so this was about the project setup uh, that how can uh, what is the abstraction about the spring boot cache and how it provides in the next video i am going to first explain you about the simple cache that the spring boot provide spring boot provides then we will move subsequently to es cache and then coffee right so we will see everything about uh, the caching in the demo we will build the we will build uh, build on this Spring Boot app, and we will uh, add the annotations also to see how it is working. Before leaving, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe it and share it with your friends also. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.